Kalau ingat, hari itu kita dah discuss berkenaan static shock, how it's generated, macam mana kita boleh rasa, kawan kita tak boleh rasa. Hari ini kita nak share a few tips yang kita boleh cuba untuk reduce risk of getting zapped. Yang pertama is moisturize our skin. Biasanya memanglah kita macam jaga kita punya skin care routine kan. But usually we only jaga bahagian muka betul tak? Kita jarang pakai lotion. Kita kita jarang lah like make sure that our skin is fully hydrated. So pakai lotion and simpan lah macam a small bottle yang boleh selit-selit dalam bag ke. So anytime yang rasa dry sikit kita boleh pakai. This is very important sebab bila kita punya skin dry, the easier it gets for us to get zapped. Yang kedua, hold a key. Ha, ni tips yang I rasa paling senang dan paling efektif lah to me yang I dah pernah try. Which is hold the key. If you don't have a key, like you know anything metal based, yang you just hold on to it. So whenever you touch on the trolley, whenever you touch ni, macam the key tu will somehow transfer all the excess charges, all the excess in energy to benda-benda uh, macam trolley ke, macam metal rack ke so that kita tak adalah terasa the zap tu bila kita pegang trolley tu. This can also be applied kalau macam kita nak keluar daripada kereta kan? Kadang-kadang macam kita dah lama drive keluar daripada kereta lepas tu there will be like a start uh, a friction kan bila macam kita nak bangun daripada seat kita tu. So this is also like one of the tip yang kita boleh guna pakai kan. Bila kita keluar kereta tu kita touch like the metal frame of the door. So that by that time waktu kita keluar bangun tu we already like touching. Waktu tu like the discharge of the benda orang kata energy tu is already being transferred. Ha. So tak adalah kita rasa kena electric tu. Choose the right fabric. So macam kalau boleh try to use more cotton uh, material punya baju and try to elakkan pakai yang berlapis-lapis. Ah, uh, pakai yang berlapis-lapis ni biasanya macam it's easily to create friction, right? So we want to try to reduce all frictions whatsoever. So pakailah satu lapis je and kalau boleh pakai cotton and try to elakkan material jenis yang wool, nylon and polyester. Hmm, next tips adalah add on baking soda, softener ataupun dryer sheets to our clothing. Sebab they act as a barrier to the positive and the negative charges. So somehow it will reduce the intensity of the shock and it will reduce the tendency of us creating any excess charges. Last but not least, anti-static wristband. So like um, anti-static wristband, it, it uses a uh, passive ionization. So what does it do is that bila kita pakai wristband tu, the material that's in it will somehow reduce the voltage that's in our body. So in turn, it will also like uh, reduce the intensity of the shot and at the same time reduce any likeliness of producing ataupun generating more charges. So tak adalah kita terasa kena zap tu. 